What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Just Be Wise. And today, we talking about the Rode Wireless Go 2. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's just hop right into it. Like I said, you already know what we're talking about. I do wanna let you know right before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Soundstripe, but we'll talk about them in a little bit. Right now is road time. So I've been testing the wireless Go mics for a little while now just to kind of get a feel for how these are supposed to be used. Um, so I've been testing them out with me and my wife just walking around using them so I can kind of get a feel for not only um, how it sounds but the range on the wireless transmitter which is this right here. And to be honest, let's just start there. Let's start talking about the device itself. So when you get the wireless Go, what you're gonna get in your package is two mics and one receiver for the wireless connection. As you can see right here, it's one of the mics. Just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. Right here, this little fuzzy duzzy, uh, like a, a bunny tail. Um, this is like a, a windscreen or whatnot. Take that off, boom. Mic's right here. You also got a jack for a microphone port. So in case you want to have like a loft mic or a lapel, boom. You got it right there so you don't obviously have to just use this mic. Another thing that is important is the USB connection. Well, this is how you charge the device and also when you're ready to get your audio from the device, connect to your computer and you use Rode's proprietary uh, system. It's not the worst, but we'll talk about that later. Now, the only other thing on here is a couple of LED lights and a button here at the bottom. You hold this button here to turn it on once it's on, this button can be programmed to be used to stop and start recordings, or actually not stop and start, more like mute, but stop and start recordings, or to mark um, a specific timestamp in your recording. So that would be pretty cool if you want to remember a certain moment, just hit that button and it'll just mark it for you. So right now, what you are hearing is actually from the Rode Wireless mic. I will be going back to the NTG4 now. Okay, and this is the transmitter. And you can already see there's a difference between the transmitter and the mics themselves, or I say transmitter, but this is actually just the uh, receiver. But you can already see a difference because it has a little screen on here. And on this screen, it actually shows you a little bit of information. So obviously we only have one mic connected right now. If we turned on the other mic, it would light up the mic and show you both mics and show you that we're getting signal. Um, and it has a lot of other information that we'll go over a little bit later when we're talking about the software. But here's the other parts of it. You have an output jack. So in case you wanna plug this into your camera for audio, or if you wanna plug it into an external um, audio recorder, you can do that by just plugging it from here. It's the same like a headphone jack, the 3.5 millimeter jack, and just plug it into your camera or your external recorder. So essentially, this doesn't record, it just sends the signal from the audio from the mics to wherever you send it to. And the battery life on these are actually pretty good as well. I tested the battery life on them. You can get seven hours straight out of them, so that's really good. Now these buttons on the bottom actually control these recorders. So you can do a couple of different things, like you can change the level of the recording that, that you're getting, or you can also change the different, there's different options in the recording. So like they have what's called a pad mode where it gives a, it's a lower sensitivity signal. So it doesn't pick up everything because these mics are pretty sensitive. So it picks up a lot of noise around you. So if you're in a noisy environment, I would advise to use the pad. Um, it gets pretty noisy and we'll see in some of the um, testing stuff that I've done, you'll see that it gets pretty noisy. But using that, I've come to see that it's pretty good. It's not the best microphone out there like what I've seen some people saying, it's the best thing ever. It's not that, but it is really good. But yeah, you can do all of that with different options here. So it has an option for you to take the audio that's coming from here and make it into separate channels. So you can do left and right from mic one and mic two or you could just do it in mono and it'll put both channels together. I would advise not to do that because if anything were to happen to where, let's say you 
if you were you gonna use this audio and it didn't work out for whatever reason, it's always best to just have separate audio from both just in case you need it for something. That just makes sense to me. Okay, so hopefully I haven't missed anything, but we ran through that pretty quickly, so I'm sure I did. But I do wanna go through and show you the software and then show you some tests audio that I ran. So I don't wanna hold up too much talking about the actual physical parts of the device. So let's go ahead and hop into the computer and check out what the software looks like. Now, right before we talk about the software, I just wanna take a moment to say thank you to Soundstrike for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, I have my pre-made ad thing ready, so here you go. Now, if you're anything like me, finding the perfect song for your videos can be a long and tiresome task, but that's why I use Soundstripe. Now, not only do they have a huge library full of dope music, but also they make it super easy for you to find what you're looking for. You can search by genre, mood, and even the type of video that you're making to find that perfect song. Now, let's say you found that song, but it just has a bit too much drums, now that's where stems come in. You can actually download and edit segments of the song, whether it's the synths, drums, piano, etc. That way you can make that perfect song just that much more perfect. To sign up for Soundstripe, just go ahead and use the link down below in the description and make sure to use my promo code JUSTBEWISE15 to get 15% off of your subscription. All right, back to the video. So this is Road Central and we can pop this bad boy into the computer, I do wanna show you, when you first plug it in and it comes up, these are the files. You can't do nothing with this. These files are nothing for you. So don't try to just drag and drop your files. You need to actually go through Rose Central to get those files. So these are the different recordings that we have here. Um, obviously today's recording are some of the recordings that we made recently. So let's say I wanted to take one of these recordings from here. You want to go ahead and export it. You have your file here, you click export. It's gonna ask you to name it. There's a couple of different options you can do. I'm just gonna leave it as this. Export. If you're on Windows, this will pop up and then you can put it wherever you're gonna put it. And it's done. Right here, we have a little gear, which, you know, connotes for settings. And here you can change some of these settings. So one of the settings is the way it records. You can use it as a backup. You can just have it not record. So it'll only transmit the signal to your um, wireless receiver, or you could have it on just always recording. Now, if it is set up as a backup, then you can do a lower quality, but if it's set up as always, it only gives you the highest level of recording. And as you can see, I still have about six plus hours of footage that I can save onto this device. Um, next is the pad feature that we spoke about. Having it on decreases the sensitivity so that it doesn't pick up everything. So that's a good thing. Brightness, so you can change the brightness of the light that are on the top of this. So we don't really need it all that bright. And this one is what I was talking about. You can assign the button to either mute, have no function, or marker. So let me change it back to marker. So if there's ever a case where there was a good moment and I just want to mark it, um, for instance, like when I'm doing a vlog, if there's something I want to mark, I'll get it boop, and then I'll be good to go. So now we just plugged in the receiver so we can go through some of the different options from the wireless receiver. So you have backlight for the screen. You have the different um, ways that you can fine tune how you're increasing or decreasing the gain. So, and then you can actually adjust the gain here. And this was another thing that we, that we mentioned. You can either have the audio merged all together as one, or you can have them split from left to right channel. I choose to leave it as split. I think that's the best thing to do, but you know, do as you please. If you do have it on Merge, there is a safety channel feature, which I actually just found that out as I'm making this. So I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look into that. But uh, I don't use Merge, so maybe that's why I don't know what it is. And obviously you can map your button to what you want. Either have it for changing on and off the backlight 
or as a marker. Okay, so let's do a quick test to see what the audio sounds like. Um, then after that, I'll let you know my final thoughts. So can you explain to everyone what we're actually doing here? Do you know Most of you have heard of what Never Have I Ever is. It's just like a fun game you play. Some people play it to just tear friendships apart, but that's not what's happening right that's here. It's just a couple's edition. I haven't read through these questions, so it, uh, it seems pretty harmless. We'll see. First question is, never have I ever loved someone in the past? Which is okay. Put both your hands up. I feel like I'm about to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. Wait, why you got a finger down? The answer is yes. You could love someone in the past, but I couldn't. I had to be loveless until I met you. That's right. You are the most. Never have I ever had an open relationship. Nah. No. That's nasty. I keep filming me, Brandon. Because you are my lovely beauty. Not ready for my close-up, Mr. Deville. Too bad. What do we call this? Your, your adventure date. The feet Don't stroke. be laughing at uh, me keep bumping my head over here. Why not? It's not funny, that's why. It's pretty funny. Can you start nope. leaving now? Uh, you girls see the tiger? It's all the way on the other side. Oh, they're Look. big. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. Come They're straight away. Sophia, come here. Come here. Oh. Now I yeah. That is massive, honey. That is so big. Look at it. Brandon, right? You want to see? I see it. Yeah, Ryan, you want to see the tiger? Yeah. Look. You see the tiger? Yeah. You see how big it is? Yeah. They are massive. I didn't think they got that big. It's a little terrifying, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what I think about these mics is they are extremely versatile. So you can use them in a lot of different situations. I do, however, feel like it is a bit sensitive. So I would recommend that you use the pad feature probably more than most people would. Um, but I do think that helps to kind of keep your noise floor down. But all in all, I think this is pretty good. I may use these more often. I know in the video I did previously, I was doing more of like a vlog style and I wanna to try to do more of that. And I feel like these mics are gonna come in extremely handy to do that. Cause I'm gonna get a way better sound than I would just coming straight off the camera, of course. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna love this. And using it for a wedding is gonna be great. Cause I kind of tested out a couple of different things and Hooking up a lapel mic to this or a loft mic will make this experience even better. So I have used it with a, a lav already, so I know it still it doesn't like degrade the quality unless you got like a really bad lav mic. So I do recommend getting this. Um, and I gotta say the wireless functionality works really good. The range is pretty good on it, so. And I also, I typically would say to set these devices to always record if you're doing something like a wedding. So that even if you're not, like let's say you mic your, your bride and you mic your groom and you're not next to them, but there's, um, or let's say disconnects from the transmitter and you can't get a good connection on it for whatever reason, you wanna make sure that it's still recording regardless if it's connected or not. So, but other than that, yeah, I think these mics are great. So this, this, this is a thumbs up for me. Definitely do get it. If you need a mic like that. Or don't get it. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'll say, yeah, this is thumbs up for me. I really like them. They've come in clutch. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about the Rode Wireless Mic Go 2. Man, that's a long name. If this video was helpful to you at all, please make sure to like. If you want any more videos like this, guess what? You can subscribe and they'll come into your inbox all the time. And lastly, I gave you guys some tools to create. Now be great. Peace.